Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Well, so glad to have you join me today in Psalm 114, verse 8. We're going to look at the practical outworking of the presence of God, you know, when He is with His people how does that, what does that look like? We're going to look at that today. The answer to the question, what ails you, O.C.? What ails you, thou Jordan? What ails you, ye little mountains, ye little hills? I keep messing that up, don't I? Ye mountains and little hills. Well, the, the answer was the presence of the Lord, the God of Jacob. He's present in his people and the creation responds. What's the outworking of that presence among his people? Look at verse 8. Psalm 114, verse 8. Which turned the rock into a standing water, the flint into a fountain of waters. So this is the practical outworking of the presence of the God of Jacob. There with his people. He is there present with his people. Judah was his sanctuary. Israel was his dominion. And then we have this statement, which turned the rock into a standing water. Well, again, this is from the Exodus experience. You go to Exodus chapter 17, verse 6, and you'll find that Moses strikes the rock, and the rock gushes forth water. Water comes out of the rock, dashes down the gullies, and, you know, probably makes little ponds along the way, and, you know, it feeds the thirst of hundreds of thousands of people. So it wasn't just a little bit of water. It's standing water that is created. It's gushing from this rock. And then you have the parallel, the flint, into a fountain of waters. I don't know that we can even imagine this. But here's the practical outworking of it. They're in a desert. There is no water. They're in a strait. And what happens? Because the God of Israel is with them, Water is provided because he cares for his people, because he loves his people, because he is in covenant with those people. Therefore, he instructs Moses, take the rock, strike, take your staff, strike the rock. And Moses does what he's told to do. He goes out and he strikes the rock. Now, from just from a just a simple perspective here, just a straightforward perspective. This is wonderful news because we often find ourselves in desert places. We often find ourselves wandering in lonely places. We often find ourselves going through the valley of the shadow of death. But what did David say in Psalm 23? I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. There it is. That's the presence of God. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And with the staff... Moses struck the rock, and the rock gushed forth water. This same picture is used in the New Testament to describe Christ in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Those people that were with Moses in that wilderness, they were followed around by the rock that Paul says was Christ. So not only do we have a picture of God's providential care for his own, but also a beautiful picture of the person of Jesus Christ. He is the rock that follows them around. Therefore, the rock is capable, is able to provide. He provides all the spiritual uh, drink we need. Our thirst is quenched. Our soul is no longer parched. What was it that David says about the, as the deer pants for the water brooks, so my soul pants after thee, O God? Well, there's no more panting here because the God of Jacob has done his thing. He has cared for his people. All right, well, join me again next week, and we're going to look at 115. So we're going to study Psalm 115. So I hope you'll read ahead and uh, enjoy 115. And next week, we'll do a little study there. Join me then here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.